Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications doing a quick tutorial today in Google Docs about how to set up some of your default text formatting so that you can quickly and easily apply some very universal, consistent formatting throughout your document. You know, their title styles, subtitle styles, all your headers, your body copy, stuff like that. By default, they look like this, and you can apply them like this. Like right now, this is a subtitle. I can go up here. Actually, let me zoom in. I'm going to hold control and mouse wheel up. You can see a little bit better. Um, this is set to subtitle. If I changed it to title, it would look like the title. Um, change it to your normal text, your body copy, all that stuff. So in any case, setting those up, um, first I would suggest getting yourself some dummy copy to work with and labeling those dummy copy elements so that you know what it is that you're styling. But once you've got it set up with your font, your color, um, line and paragraph spacing, which I'll talk more about at the end, go ahead and where this says normal text right now, I'll just say update title to match, subtitle, do the same. And I think you guys are probably getting the idea here as I update my H1 style. H2, this is about to change a tiny bit um, because H3, I don't usually use a third header. So I usually just set that up to be a footnote and um, update my normal text. And now I had all those things set. So if I go down, you can see they updated to match those new updated styles. Uh, so again, really fast way to apply universal formatting throughout your document, but then also be able to update it. And I mentioned line and paragraph spacing. Let's talk really quick about what that is. Uh, the button for that is right up here, line and paragraph spacing. I'm gonna go down to custom spacing. You can see um, line spacing right now is set to 1.25. By default, it's probably 1 or 1.15. The bigger this number is, the more space you'll have between every line of text, uh, whether you hit enter or not between them. If you do hit enter, that's where paragraph spacing comes in. Um, I've just got this set to 4 on everything throughout the document uh, for the after, and that helps give me a little bit of extra space between paragraphs, between bullet items, stuff like that. Uh, and then on my headers, and things of that nature, you can see I've got um, some spacing before just to help add some uh, chunks of white space between my blocks of text, to help your eye navigate through everything. This will all be editable and universally applied throughout the document as I make those updates. So using these styles is super effective and useful. Hope this was helpful for you. We are Ghost Ranch Communications. You can find us at ghostranch.com or on LinkedIn. And we'd be more than happy to hear from you about any help you might need designing documents, designing presentations, or any sort of collateral that might need to go along with it. Love to hear from you. Thanks.